I was just watch, watching Father Tikon from Seattle area talk about how monks and priests don't get a pension and they have to keep continuing. And also how he never regretted the day he became orthodox. Now, although I'm struggling, I'm knocking at the door to even become a catechumen, I still say prayers every day and every night. I read all the, the readings that are listed. Um, I go to every service that I'm, I'm able to. I fast as much as my strength can handle. I'm not just trying to toot my horn. I'm trying to say that I'm knocking hard at the door. And, uh, you know, it's, it's cost me my marriage already. And I, I cannot get through to my wife to, even though she's been a Protestant for many, many years, I can't get the truths to her. But I digress. I don't regret a moment of this. From the, from the first little drippings and inklings of hearing about orthodoxy, it sounded like the truth to me. It sounded authoritative to me. And, um... I won't turn back from it. Um, you know, the Lord says that He'll, I've said this before, that he'll, he'll not only replace everything you lost on this path, but if you don't love Him more than all those things, you're not even worthy of Him. So, I'm still going to continue to walk in this. Lent is nearly here. I'm sorry. Pascha is nearly here. And we get to see like the best services of the entire season there. Which is wonderful. And uh, it's a new day. It's a beautiful day. And such is that in my life. It's a new and beautiful day. Even despite the pain. So yeah. I just wanted to put this on my channel. Because it's been all lamenting about my problems and stuff. And. I just want some a bright spot to be here. You know, soon we're going to have Clean Monday, and uh, the monks are going to feast, and, and it's going to be a good thing. There'll be other fasts, but they're not sorrowful. They're to trim us, to trim our pride, to trim our ego, and to uh, drive us in prayer to the Lord. So, uh, blessed be His holy name, and blessed Holy Week to everybody.